Well, it's Brendan. What I've got for you today is a video describing arc length uh, and how it matters on the SAT. So for the SAT, uh, what you need to know about arc length is two things. One, you need to know exactly what arc length is, uh, and then you need to know the formulas um, or ratio you can set up in order to find it. Uh, so what is arc length? We'll start by answering that question. Well, let's say you have a circle like this, um, and that circle is subtended by some angle, and we'll call this angle theta. What the arc length is, is it's basically this length right here. It's just the length around the outside of the circle, uh, or the fraction of the circumference uh, that corresponds to that circle, uh, to that, that angle theta. And so, uh, fortunately, there's a pretty easy equation for figuring it out. Uh, if you don't like the equation, there's also a ratio that you can use. So what that equation is, is s is equal to r times theta. Uh, it really couldn't be any easier, it's just three variables. Uh, and here s represents arc length. r represents radius. And theta represents the central angle. Uh, and I should note here that theta is always in radians. It's never in degrees. So common mistakes, people use degrees for this. Uh, you should never use degrees. You should always, always use radians. Okay, so you can use this formula. Or alternatively, some of you may have learned it um, by setting it up as a ratio. And that's fine as well. So I'll just go ahead and write that ratio here. Uh, and the ratio is that the arc length divided by the circumference is equal to theta over 360 if you're doing degrees, or it could be theta over 2 pi if you're dealing with radians. So it just depends on whether or not the central angle is in degrees or radians, which one of those two you would use. Uh, if you decide to use this equation over here, uh, it's going to be important that you know how to convert from degrees to radians, uh, and so I'm going to write that conversion right here. In order to go from degrees to radians, you need to multiply by pi divided by 180. Uh, for those of you who are currently in Algebra 2, uh, this is something you might be about to cover. Uh, those of you who have taken pre-calc, you have extensive experience with this. Um, but kind of get used to it. And we'll, I'm going to give you some problems both with degrees and with radians uh, and try to use both the formula on the left as well as the ratio on the right to help you solve these. So the simplest problem that they could give you is one where uh, they simply provide you with a circle. Let's make that a little bit better. Do a better job than that. Okay, not great, but it'll do. Uh, and so they provide you with a circle and they tell you that that circle has some central angle theta. Uh, and maybe in the word problem, they would tell you theta is equal to pi over 3. And they tell you the radius of the circle is equal to some value. Now, maybe in this case, we're going to make this radius 12. Uh, so I'll solve this using each of the formulas. Uh, so first, we're going to do s is equal to r theta. And what we're going to find is the arc length is equal to 12 times pi over 3. Um, multiplying fractions, remember 12 is the same as 12 over 1. You multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom. So this would equal 12 pi over 3, uh, which is just equal to 4 pi. That's it. That's how you would set up a problem like that. Uh, let's say we wanted to, instead of using s equals r theta, use this equation up here. So what we have is the arc length, which is what we're trying to find over the circumference. Um, on the SAT, they will provide you with this formula. The circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi times the radius. So for this particular uh, circle, that would be 2 pi times 12, which just equals 24 pi. All right, so then this is going to be s divided by 24 pi is equal to pi over 3, because uh, remember, that's our central angle theta divided by 2 pi. All right. And if we want to solve this, what we can do is we can go ahead and cross multiply. 
So we multiply the 2 pi up here and the 24 pi up here. And we would end up with 2 pi s is equal to pi over 3 times 24 pi. Remember, that's just the same as 24 pi over 1. Uh, when we have this, uh, 3 and 12, we can cross-reduce and turn that into 8 over 1. Then multiplying straight across the top, we would have 2 pi s is equal to 8 times pi squared. And when we divide both sides by 2 pi, we would then find that s is simply equal to 4 pi. So we can see that either way that we do it, we're going to get the same answer. Uh, the key is just to remember that because it's theta is given to you in radians, you need to continue and use the radians formula. Uh, and that's basically it. So that's your introduction to arc lengths. Uh, I'll provide a couple more examples in the coming videos. Uh, these examples will uh, give you slightly more complicated problems. Maybe they don't just straight up give you the radius and the uh, central angle. Maybe they tell you the circumference or maybe they tell you the area of the circle. Or maybe there's some other connection you have to make to get to that final answer. Thanks for watching.